It's a long-held adage in filmmaking that you should never work with animals or children. So we cast an eight-year-old girl, my daughter Natty, as a main character in this film. And it definitely provided a lot of interesting challenges, so I hope this tutorial is informative and insightful for you. This process certainly opened my eyes quite a bit. The first thing to know about working with kids is that they are not adults. You can't yell at them or work them ridiculous hours. You should always have a parent or guardian on set to keep the child safe. Kids have a tendency to wander and get lost, cause trouble, do dangerous things. They need someone constantly watching and protecting them. You need someone constantly watching them and protecting them to keep your production running smoothly. Now, working with kids, albeit unconventional, is still kind of fun. When I was doing the final voiceover with Natty, she had a really difficult time memorizing this line. The few that are left gather often and look forward to a brighter day. So I wrote a little jingle and we sing it together until she felt comfortable with it. You can never play like this with a grown up. And of course, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. They obviously don't have the comprehension of the nuances of human behavior that adults do. You also can't push them as much. Emotionally, of course, but they also need more frequent breaks and need escorts to go to the restroom. And when they get tired or cold, they're just done. So they can be a little unpredictable in that sense. But perhaps the most interesting thing I learned about working with child actors was in the course of doing the goodbye scene. I had such a rough time with this scene on set. I just couldn't get Natty to connect to Cordea emotionally. She did a pretty good job of faking it, and the scene still kind of works, I think, but it still wasn't super genuine. We tried take after take, but nothing was working or even improving the scene. I mean, she had it exactly in her mind how she was gonna say each line and she just stayed emotionally detached. I just assumed that she was too young to understand what was happening to Cordea, so we did the best we could and moved on. It's important when dealing with kids that they aren't pushed too hard. You know, adults can process stresses, but children don't have those same faculties and pushing them too hard can cause lasting damage to their psyche. But when it came time to record the voiceover that's in the film now, she broke down and cried. She confided in me that she intentionally put up an emotional wall on set because it was so sad that Cordea was abandoned. Nettie is a really happy kid in real life. She's also been extremely sensitive, always. I once did a camera test with my iPhone and she still sobs like a baby every time she watches it. I mean, she's a softie. So she gave a rehearsed performance on set intentionally so that she could avoid feeling all of those sad feelings. For the voiceover, she really gave it all she could and allowed herself to feel Cordea's pain more deeply. It was tough for her and she was occasionally brought to tears during her performance. You know, that was tough for me, directing the performances that caused a little girl to cry. It's terrible. But as Nettie and I talked about, this is why we tell stories, so that we can process and digest the struggles that we have in real life. So it ended up being a great bonding and teaching moment. Working with kids on a film is kind of tough. People need to watch their language. Kids need extra help and support. They need breaks more often. But you know, having kids on set does also add a sweet innocence to the whole thing. Cast and crew were more positive because they were trying to help this little child have a great experience. And you know, maybe it was because of the extra time I got to hang out with my daughter, but I kind of liked it, honestly. I would totally work with kids again. Now, sometimes when you're working with kids and you're just not getting the performance that you want, you sometimes might need to explore a few other creative techniques. These techniques are also applicable to working with people with no acting experience, so we'll look at those in the next tutorial.